Okay, so my friends on YouTube are asking for help on Arkansas real estate testing, and I left out some questions. So we're going to start with question number 26, and I'm not going to show myself. I'm just going to show the question so you can either watch it or listen to it as you drive or whatever you're doing. Okay, number 26, a real estate company has entered into agency agreements with both a seller and a buyer. The seller and the buyer have signed the dual agency consent agreement. Legally, the salesperson may disclose A, comparable market data to the seller if the buyer requests and receives such data from the salesperson. So you can receive comparable market data um, to the seller if the buyer requests and receives such data from the salesperson. Um, comparable market data. All right. Number 27, a buyer is interested in seeing a house listed with XYZ Realty, but does not wish to enter into an agency relationship. How can a salesperson from LMN Realty show the buyer the house? B, XYZ Realty must obtain LMN Realty's consent to the sub-agency, and the buyer is given an agency disclosure notice stating that XYZ Realty represents the seller. So basically, they still have to get representation agreement of sorts. Okay, 28. A broker decides to sweeten an MLS listing for a property by making a blanket offer of sub-agency. Is the broker's action acceptable? D, no. Sub-agency relationships in Arkansas may be created only by specific agreement between parties. 29. A brokerage's relationship with the buyer or seller as agent must be determined and all necessary agreements executed. C. Prior to the time a purchase and sale agreement is entered into. So the brokerage's relationship with a buyer or seller as agent must be determined and all necessary agreements executed prior to the time a purchase and sale agreement is entered into. Duh. All right, number 30. In Arkansas, real estate commissioners serve for B, three years. 31. Who submits a list to fill vacancies for the Arkansas Real Estate Commission's board? C, the Arkansas Association of Realtors. 32. Any person who wishes to appeal a ruling for dismissal of a complaint by the Arkansas Real Estate Commission's executive director may do so by filing a fee of $100. Any person who wishes to appeal a ruling for a dismissal of a complaint by the Arkansas Real Estate Commissioner, Commission's executive director may do so by filing a fee of $100. Number 33. In Arkansas, the real estate license law is administered by the B, Arkansas Real Estate Commission. 34. The members of the Arkansas Real Estate Commission are designated by the governor. 35. The Arkansas Real Estate Commission has the authority to A, make and enforce the rules by which all real estate licensees must abide. 36. Any person wishing to file an appeal of a commission ruling of investigation must request such appeal in writing to the Arkansas Real Estate Commission within what time frame, if any? 60 days following the dismissal. Thirty-seven. Once the Arkansas Real Estate Commission has accepted a complaint's request for an appeal hearing, the appellant pays for the appeal costs. How many days, if any, after notification of amount due, must the appellant pay the fees? 30 days, within 30 days. The Arkansas Real Estate Commission may undertake an investigation of a licensee based on all of the following grounds except B, a random selection of licensees. 
So there has to be either its own initiative, a motion from the members of the commission, or a written complaint submitted by a disgruntled customer. Ooh, and we don't want that to happen, but I'm sure it does. So all of those are good, but you can't just do like a random selection. There has to be a reason for it. Investigation. Okay, now, 39, in Arkansas, an applicant for a real estate license must do all of the following except live within the state of Arkansas. So you don't have to live here. You have to take and pass the exam. You have to be 18. You have to submit an application with a sworn statement attesting to the applicant's character. Yeah, so you don't have to live here. All right, 40. In Arkansas, which of the following is a requirement for obtaining a broker's license? Being of good moral character. One thing that I suggest about when taking these tests is if you're in doubt about an answer, just resort back to being of good moral character. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks.